I have a fairly interesting machinery for you. This is a um, vintage Westinghouse slash MC machine room. Got 90s MC controls and some 1920s Westy machines. Heck, this might even be older than the 20s. But regardless of that, this thing is badass. Frame 215, 40 horsepower, 64 amps, 64 RPM, 120 amps. This big old motor. Wow. It really stood the test of time. I wonder if this thing's overheating. Um, no. That's just from time. Wow. So the motor's cool. It's not even a little warm. It's got air conditioner blowing ice cold air straight onto the motor. Wow. Awesome. This um, would have been on a DC genset system and with how early of an installation it was, I wouldn't be surprised if it was manual controlled as well. And that's your flyball governor right there, safety mechanism. Some new companies like Mitsubishi and Hitachi use this exact same design even to this day. A little less, you know, complicated but it's the simplest design of a governor that you can make. Simple, effective, and it works. This is awesome. Controller is not really anything special about it. There's some your DC SCR drive. Here's your drive. Isolator transformer, which that is what makes that DC home that you've come to associate with traction elevators like this. That DC home that you've come to know, that's not from the machine or the controller. It's from the transformer for the drive. Most people think it comes from either the drive or the motor. It doesn't. It comes from this thing right here. Let's watch the contact. Things are loud. IMC SCR controller. Switch the brake. You can almost feel it in the floor when the brake engages. It's actually crazy. And here is your monitor. You know, the monitor took a shit. Doesn't want to work. There is your car supervisor. Pretty cool. Oh look, spider webs in the motor. I'll pause the video a second. Just want to get a little video of this, but this is actually the bearings in here, and this is where you oil them. It looks like they've been oiled very recently. This stuff is made to last. oiled really nicely. And that isn't a bad bearing that's actually coming from the governor. All of them make, are making that same noise. It's, it's just how these governors behave. And because they use these crappy window units, these things keep failing. The other, the service car machine in the window unit failed and it's not working. It's working a little, but pretty much just cooling it down to outside temp. That's about it. 
which obviously is not going to be doing much. Alright, hope you all enjoyed this video. That'll be it.